Okay, in this video, I'm going to do a quick demonstration here of an app that you can use for the total solar eclipse. And it could come in handy on that particular day, especially if you have to move. And the app is called Totality. I'm just bringing it up here. And this is by Big Kid Science, Jeff Bennett. And I had the pleasure to meet Jeff briefly last year when he came to the University of Memphis for the grand opening of the Voyage Solar System model. So uh, this is an app that uh, his company developed. And it's, first of all, it's a very good app as far as it's very comprehensive and it gives you all the information you need. And I like it because it's very simple to use, very easy. So you can see here, you got three buttons. So if you want just kind of a quick overview of how to use it, you just click on the how to use button and just kind of read through some of the instructions here if you'd like to. But really it's pretty simple. You just click the start button. You can see here, it actually brings up the, the eclipse path, the path of totality. And you can just zoom in on your phone. Now I'm located in Memphis, Tennessee, actually east of Memphis. And you can see here that uh, I, I can use this pretty effectively when planning my trip that day. Let's say I'm trying to dodge the clouds at the last minute. And you can really zoom in here and get a lot of details, not only of towns and cities, but actual streets and and uh, topography and actual mile markers here. So you can zoom in, or not mile markers, but uh, um, terrain and and just uh, buildings, signs, whatever. So it has a lot of details as far as what, uh, any, any place that you're zooming in on. So let's just say hypothetically that plan A works for me, all right? It's clear in Northern Arkansas and I wanna take a straight shot into the eclipse path. So for me, the direct route is north along I-55 into Jonesboro. So if I get to Jonesboro, I'm already in the eclipse path. So let's say I can't get any further for whatever reason. Now let's say I got a hole up here. How long am I looking at for duration in Jonesboro? Well, let's pick a spot actually in Jonesboro where I'm gonna view the eclipse. And I'm just gonna say that I'm gonna to go to Ron's Catfish. Now I've never been there. This is a, a pure guess. I'm just doing this hypothetically. But let's just say for, for argument's sake that I wanna stop there. All I gotta do is click on it and it will actually bring up the statistics for what the eclipse is gonna look like there. And you can see that I would get two minutes and 42 seconds of duration during totality, that the partial eclipse would begin at 1237 Central Daylight Time Totality would be at 1.56 Central Daylight Time, and then the, the actual the eclipse would end at 3.14. And I can get more details here. I just click on the Details button, and it brings it up and brings even more details. So first contact, that's when the moon just touches the disk of the sun at the beginning of the eclipse. That starts at 12.37 and 40 seconds. And it even gives me the altitude, the alt as, and all the uh, statistics for the location of the sun. Second contact, that's when totality begins, when the moon completely covers the disk of the sun. And of course, that's when all the action occurs, the diamond ring, the Bailey's beads, and the transition in totality. That would occur at 155 and 20 seconds. And then the maximum eclipse would be at 156 and 41 seconds. And in third contact, that's when the eclipse, the totality ends, that would be at 158 and two seconds. And you can see here, it gives me a, a total duration of two minutes and 42 seconds. And I can even get other statistics if I want to here, like umbral depth, obscuration, 100%. Of course, that's what I want. That means I'm in the path and the, the entire eclipse is covered. And then the, uh, the velocity of the shadow, which is 1800 and nine miles per hour. So very good details. Now, if I want directions, I can actually just click on the directions button and it will map it out for me for, for my home where I'm actually at right now as I'm recording this video in Collierville. And you can see it takes about an hour and 42 minutes to get there. So pretty slick little app. Now let's do another example here just for argument's sake. And I'm gonna try and get out of here again and go back to the beginning. So we're just gonna, actually I'm just gonna close the app out, close that out, go back here, 
Now let's just say I get a little further. Let's just do another example here, all right? So I'm going to say I'm going to get further in along the path and I'm going to get all the way to my desired destination. So I visited this spot just a couple days ago. The blue line is the center line. So you want to, if you're looking for maximum duration, which is the maximum time to be under the moon's shadow, you want to be as close to that blue line as possible. It's about 124 miles wide, the entire eclipse path. So the good news is once I get to Jonesboro, if I'm taking a day trip, assuming it's clear, then I'm already in the path. And now it's just a matter of making my way in as far as I can. And you can see here that uh, it shows me the topography also. So, um, you know, I can see trees, I can see hills, I can see a lot of brush here. I can even see some flatlands, which may be more desirable if you want to see some of the other effects of the eclipse and kind of position yourself to be in the most strategic spot possible. So let's just say, again, I'm using a complete hypothetical example here, but let's just say I get all the way to Hardy. And this is one of the spots I was at. So I can zoom in and you can see here the Hardy sign. I'll take that off. And then across the street, there's a McDonald's, there's a, a church. And then there's a dollar central. Now, Eclipse Day, this is going to be completely packed. There's going to be thousands of people here if it's clear. If, we get, if they get clear skies, good luck getting to this spot on, the, on that day because there's going to be a lot of traffic. But let's just say I want to hole up at this McDonald's and watch the eclipse. I can do the same thing. So you can see here, I would get 4 minutes and 12 seconds of duration during totality. That's very good because I'm, I'm near the center line. Uh, partial eclipse would begin at 1237 Central Daylight Time. Totality would be at 156. And then the entire eclipse would end again at 314. So if I want to bring up more details, I just click the details button. And you can see that my umbral depth here is 90%. Very good. 100% obscuration. The velocity of the umbra, the moon shadow, is moving at 1800 miles per hour. I get 4 minutes and 12 seconds of duration. Contact one, the eclipse starts, first contact when the moon just touches the edge of the sun is at 1237 p.m. and 19 seconds central daylight time. Now I like this spot because uh, totality contact two starts exactly at 154, 154 and zero seconds. And then it ends at 158 and 12 seconds. So there's my four minutes and 12 seconds of duration. And if you wanted to stay for the back end partial phases, then the total eclipse, or the, the entire eclipse, sorry, bad play on words, would actually end at 314 and zero seconds. So again, pretty clever little app. This is called Totality, and this is available for free on your phone, on your, on your iPhone or Android, and you can use this as a tool to kind of help you maneuver if you need to, to find a spot to set up and view the eclipse and or target a spot maybe a day or two early. And again, in this particular case, if I wanted to get to this spot and I wanted directions, I could just easily map it out from wherever I'm located. It's about two hours and 40 minutes. Now that's drive time. It doesn't factor in stops or traffic. So if you figure you want to try and make that in a day, you're going to want to maybe double that time if there's a lot of people in the path or depending on what time of day you leave. So you've got to factor other things in if you're going to make a day trip out of it. But this app will certainly help you plan and maneuver and hopefully make the best decisions possible on Eclipse Day. Totality by Big Kid Science.